So cheers, we are catching up with our local of the week, which is Mark Hamilton. Hello. <laughs> Thanks for the uh, garage project. Yeah, no. We should probably get them to sponsor this, oh. eh? First question's first. It's always the standard. How long local? Uh, coming up 10 years. But you hailed from Dunedin, and music's been kind of been a part of you from the beginning. Yeah, no. From from day one, Dad's a musician, so I grew up in the music scene in Dunedin, mm. and the Dunedin Musos Club, carrying his gear around, and then, yeah, my first band about 12. 12? Yeah. Yeah, interesting for a 12, 13 year old to be amongst that. I think it was 8 till 11 the gigs then and yeah, but also having that money, you know, I think it was $75 we got each. <laughs> I just bought gear and learnt a lot off these obviously musicians who are, you know, 5, 10 years older than me and mm. that's where it all began. You were part of a whole family band, the Hamiltons, hey? Yeah, that's what we're doing now. Which family members are part of that? Uh, my sister, mm -hmm. Stacey, and my dad. Uh, we do lots of corporates, weddings, bars, anything. So how did you come to be acquainted with this little shop here, which is It Might Get Loud? Well, there's a guy called Ruben Pierce. You might be familiar with him from Strawberry Sound, owned it as a part-time store. Mm. So I'd come in and grab my, my guitar strings for the band and whatever and mentioned about maybe selling it. Yeah. So I thought, well, it needs to be a full-time shop. Put another guitar wall over there and now it's no stock. <laughs> Not much stock. We're with the last, we lost three guitars, three guitars here. <laughs> oh man. No, what I'm going to miss most is them coming in, having a chat, sitting down on the couch and having a jam and mm. more of a community rather than just grab your strings, see you later. You know, that's, yeah. that's what I'll miss the most. So, yeah. Are we in the process of seeing the death of like kind of boutique retail here in Queenstown? But it depends what it is. Yeah, maybe it is a sign of the times. I don't know, you only need to go downtown and have a look at the chain stores that are there and, and obviously they've got the, the buying power on that that the little stores haven't. So I hope not, but um, but the whole boutique stores I hope will carry on and people will support local and um, you know, you might pay ten, twenty dollars more, but it's it's so worth it because that is community. So do you know what's gonna happen with this space? After the after the final, after know. we have a party, <laughs> do we? <yeah. laughs> Amazing. Yeah. I'll have a wee gig, I think, um, maybe next week because I think next Friday could be the last day. So we'll have a bit of a party, and then I think Print Central next door want it. I know that this, you know, this store will always be a part of you, but mm -hmm. you know, your your main gig is is live performance. So where to next? What's the next? What's the next chapter? Plenty of that. <laughs> um, plenty of live music. I will do some more writing. Over the summer there will be heaps of weddings, uh, markets, which I love. And just catching up with everyone around town. I have more time for coffee now. <laughs> the odd garage project. <laughs> Mate, you've got to send this to the maze. Well, Mark, thank you so much for sitting down and being our local of the week. Thank you, And um, really excited for your next chapter as well. It's going to it's gonna be good, hey? I think so, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, no, thank you. And it's, um, I'll be around, so you won't be getting into this space. I know, it's not goodbye. Yeah. I mean, the shop is closed, but you're not. Yeah, you're so not going out, anywhere. Guys, this weekend. Yeah. Uh, Friday night, Ballarat, Hamilton's. Saturday night, Smith's Bar, Craft Beer Bar. So, awesome. yeah, if anyone's heading out, come on down. The most outrageous gig that you've uh, played at. Where do we start? Um, Glenorchy Hotel, mm. it was pretty loose. Surfy gigs in Dunedin. And honestly, we've been playing with a bass player, we'd actually have to stop playing and hold on to the speaker. Yeah, on Mongrel Mob, played the Mongrel Mob in Dunedin. Oh, another one comes to mind. I was playing up at Queenstown Hill, I was at Pig and Whistle, playing and these 10 guys said, we've, we've all come together, we're friends from Kindy, can you come and do a home party for us? <laughs> so I said, okay. <laughs> so I went up and did it and they were from what, like a hired house, beautiful home in Queenstown Hill and they just started from one end of the room to the other running at each other and smashing into each other and there were chip fights everywhere and I'm playing up the front and they started throwing money at me and, <laughs> me and the place was just chaos and it was getting real loose so I said alright guys I need to go up and I was about midnight and they were just tackling each other in the middle and falling over everywhere and so that was probably the loosest gig. The yeah. Moose's gig. Yeah. All, all these guys from Kindy. <laughs>